All right, so we're gonna start with double sleeve grip, okay? Right here, right? Uh, we're gonna work on spider guard, and then shallow lasso or deep lasso, whatever you feel comfortable, okay? But just to remind you, if you play, <coughs> excuse me, if you play uh, both feet on the bicep, okay, and you extend the leg, it's easy for a boy to take the leg out. Can you just step me? Yeah, okay, you just do the helmet. Right? So if you use both feet on the bicep, you have to make sure you bring one heel towards your butt, okay, and the other one you raise. You always try to force your opponent to go to the side. Okay? <coughs> then you can work on the other side. Okay? You can get the lasso. I like the shallow lasso, because if Rolando tried to come close, I can push with his foot as well. If I go deep lasso, Right? I cannot push him as much. Especially if you kill this side. Now look, he's too close to me. Okay. So if I go shallow lasso, and he kills that, he tried to come, I can push him. And then I go back. Or I can even let go of this grip and start resetting my grip on the collar. Okay? And then after that, I'm going to post on his shoulder right here. Okay? And then I can try to reach again there, or I can change my grips, even though I'm going for, for the leg. Okay. <clears throat> right now, it's a warm up. We're gonna start with this spider guard. Okay. And the person on bottom here, just gonna try to control the spider guard. Okay. Ways for you to control. Bending one leg and extend the other one. Right, that's a nice way. Never extend both, okay. You can bring both of these to your chest. You can do that as well, okay. But always make sure that you bring the legs down, okay. So I'm not just bringing my knees to my chest and keep my feet like, kind of like, kind of like I'm doing leg press, you know? Does that allow me to stack me? Okay, because so I have to always push down and I can even use my head, the crown of my head on the floor. Because if you try to stack, I'm gonna start sliding, okay? Right here. Then you can change the grips, okay? So my goal right now is just control, all right? And Rolando's goal is try to break my grips. Okay, so you have to work with your grips right now. If you don't have good grip, you're gonna feel a lot. So as soon as I break your grip, okay, reset. Okay. Go. You can do that as well. Putting the foot on the the shin under the armpit. Okay? Because right now it's you can stack me. Okay? I can go with the leg over the, the arm here as well. I can do this. Good. Now it's a threat for Orlando because anytime I can just shoot a triangle here. Boom, right? So he has to have the knee on, in the middle of the leg. Here we go. Most important from this drill is to keep holding the sleeves the entire time. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> now for you on top, to not feel very uncomfortable. So while he's trying to control me here, my goal on top is try to break the grips. There's different ways for me to break the grip, okay? But I have to understand that if I, if I stiff my shoulders and traps, it's gonna be easier for him to control me. Okay, every time I stiff my muscle here, my, my body, so it's easier for him to control. This is Jiu Jitsu, okay? So I have to relax. Even though I'm in a bad spot here, I have to relax. If I stay with my knees on the floor, it's more comfortable, right? Especially both knees, okay? If I stand up, he's less comfortable, but also now I'm uncomfortable. I am uncomfortable. So if you start feeling your lower back, the best way for you to be here is squatting like this, okay? Because now you're standing, but also you relax on your back. Because I see a lot of times people, they just stay like this. And then you start getting tired here, okay? So if you have to rest a little bit, you just can stay like this. Plus, by doing this, it's hard for opponents to get underneath of you. Okay, so let's say if you want to try to go for, for one leg X, for example, it's harder for you to go in. If I'm here, it's easier for you to go underneath of me. Right? And to be honest, even with the shallow lasso, like I can stay like this. The only thing I need to be careful is the triangle attacks, right? Because he's gonna try to shoot a triangle over here, okay? And omoplata attacks, okay? 
So also by squatting like this, you're preventing him from setting up the lahiva hooks. Right? If I'm staying like this, you get the lahiva, go back. But if I stay like this, there's no lahiva. So this is very, very good for the horizontal. Also, I like to, if I need the space to get away from my opponent when I'm on top, I have to walk away from him. But at the same time, I, like I say, I relax my shoulders. So it's harder for you to follow me, okay? It's just like you limp your arms, right? Like numb your arms, relax your shoulders, and just walk backwards like this. Try to get underneath of me. It's a little bit harder for you to get underneath of you. And you can start using your, put your foot on the floor. Use your form, you see right here. You start building a frame to take the foot off the bicep. And then you don't accept his leg between your legs, okay? So when that happens, well, I move outside of him and start going for kind of like a, it's not a throw by, but it's like using my, my form, okay? So Orlando, control, and I'll try to skip, go. There's no problem for me to stay here, look. Because sometimes you like, you go like crazy here. No, just relax. Look right here. I can go like this. Put your foot on the bicep. I can kick and break the grip. Okay. I can go on the arm too, like this. Break the grip. Now always move your hands. At the same time your shoulders are relaxed, you move your hands. Every time you try to change the, to the shallow lasso, right away, use your forearms, you see? Like this, open your elbows and use your forearms. Try to put the bicep, put the bicep. No, keep the foot on the bicep. And then you can start breaking the grip. By using your chin on the leg, right, start stacking leg drags, okay? It's just like a, a game, one person trying to break the grips, and the other person try to maintain the, the position, okay? All right, let's go one, two, three. All right, guys, so now when I'm playing spider, uh, I, have to, I have to work on controlling his legs as well, okay? If I wanna sweep him, okay? If I sweep just using the foot on the bicep and then try to sweep him like this, he's always gonna bounce back because his legs are free, okay? Most of the time. And by the time that I try to come up, he's gonna bounce back. So I suggest you to do this. If I'm here, okay, then I go for the sweep. And after on the bounce back, I always go for a triangle or an armbar. Okay, because I know he's gonna come back. Okay. So you use this sweep to set up a triangle. Okay. <coughs> Sometimes you're gonna feel that you're gonna sweep, and then you can come up like this, but you have to. Have a really good strength, you know. You curve bicep here, he's gonna try to come up. You're gonna start like walking like this, okay? But if you're finding someone bigger than you or stronger than you, even like more explosive than you, you come back, okay? And then you end up losing the position, okay? So if you sweep and you feel like it's gonna come back, you shoot this leg here. And then you just, because you take advantage, there is no knees between your legs, okay? Then you have this position. Okay? So right now I'm just gonna do that. So I'm here, very crazy, sweep. Okay, even when you stand up, see that one? I can use the position here, okay? I extend his leg, okay? Pull the leg and pull his arm to me, okay? I don't keep my back on the floor here. I sit up on my elbow, then I guide him to the side. I want to put the shoulder on the mat. That's my goal. okay? Now, I'm trying to come up and Roland is bouncing back. Go, go, go. I'm managing. Go, go. Then I shoot. I'm trying. Okay? You guys got it? All right? So you use that as a trap to end up on the triangle. Okay? But now notice that when I get the triangle here, his arm is under my, my arm here. Okay? And a lot of times people want to do this. No, it's keep right here. Because you know, sometimes you're going to try to stack it fast. If he does that, you know, I can easily armbar him, okay? But if I go back, if I try to cross, he's gonna stack me, and then I start, like, 
having no air here. I was just saying it's gonna pass right there. I'm gonna stack me here, okay? So keep the arm under your armpit, okay? If your opponent try to stack you now, you no, know, you can easily just change a little bit of your hip, okay? And then you just put pressure on the arm by you. You don't even need to pass the leg over the head, just stay here. Okay, once he feels the arm, he's gonna try to go back, and then you go for the triangle. Okay? Keep your hips, look, and then you lock the triangle. Only if you have a really hard time to lock the triangle with the arm on this side, I don't suggest you to try to grab like this, okay? I suggest you to underhook right here, okay? And then you grab your shin here. See? So now you keep his arm over your bicep, then you bring his bicep over his, uh, right under his chip, and then he's easy for you to walk, okay? Very basic. So I'm here controlling Rolando. If Rolando have one knee on the floor, I, I can escape my hip, and then I go here. But I have to come up on my elbow, like this. Okay, you see? Now I'm pulling, pushing, and driving his shoulder to the mat. He's gonna try to come back. I'm gonna shoot a triangle, keep his arm under. Okay, he's gonna try to stack, arm bar. I just pass my inner thigh over his shoulder when he tried to pass, okay? So, it's a big leverage here, be careful. Okay, very strong. Now if I want to lock the triangle, I just pull his head down. It's very important to pull the head down as well as you get a triangle, okay? Stab, escape your hip, control the shin, and then lock the triangle. If you have a hard time to lock the triangle, underhook the arm and grab the, the shin, escaping the hip, and now your calf over his neck. Then you can lock the triangle. Another thing really important is putting your inner thigh over the shoulder. Yeah, a lot of times people lock the triangle outside of the shoulder. That's why I make it super hard for you to lock the triangle. But if I bring his bicep against his face and I lock with my inner thigh over the shoulder, it's less space, and then I finish it. Okay? Very simple. Everybody can do this. So, Rondo will be here. He can do like lasso, shallow lasso, just play around a little bit. Okay, and then I'll try to move. And then when it feels good, I'm gonna, as soon as I try to come back, I'm gonna get a train. The, the normal reaction of your opponent will be that, okay? And this sweep is so basic, and you feel like, oh, it's not gonna work. And that feel like just sweeping like this, maybe not gonna work. But at least you're gonna make your opponent open up all his frames, which is his legs, so he doesn't have any defense for the triangle. Because if you were to try to shoot a triangle from here, I can use my shin to defend, right? But if you force me to at least like go here, right? When I go back, I have no legs to defend myself. If I have really short legs, then you go to Oplata. Control the collar, cross collar, and then switch to Oplata. Okay? We're not going to go into the details of the Oplata. But I suggest you that has a short leg, you have a hard time to lock the omoplata, to lock the triangle, sorry. Just go for omoplata, okay? Any question? Can you show the arm bar? Yes. So again, so I'm here. You see that my butt is between his legs? If my butt is between his legs, it's not gonna work, okay? I have to jump with my butt out, like this. Okay, and I start extending it, okay? So I, I have this option. And I have this option as well. But when I go for the sweep, I go right here and then I sit, okay? On my own. Pushing the thigh, not the shin, the thigh, okay? Now I sweep, I'm gonna come back. I shoot the triangle, so now, lock right here. Okay, was it? Now for the triangle, for the arm bar. I can't do the arm bar right now here. He needs to stand up at least, stand up. Sometimes we're gonna to try to posture up, right? Posture up. Yeah, like this. Okay? And try to start skating. Go. And so that, yeah, exactly. That's the moment you go. You underhook the leg, and then you just like go like this. If you pass over, it's gonna be super powerful. You can break the arm of the guy. And right here, just the inner tie over here. Okay, and then you finish here. Try to stack me. His arm is straight, it's so hard. You know? Okay? Worst case scenario, it's another one. So I'm here and Rolando pop his arm out and take his head out. I start him on the legs. I start going for a kick up. 
You put on 50 feet and start like controlling my opponent still. Okay? The leg is right there. Alright? Any question? Alright, let's just smell. Uh, what if all in your front system? How I, I tilt him? Yeah. Yes. So maybe this angle here is gonna understand better. So first I sweep my hip to the side. Then I extend my top leg here. And while I extend my leg, I go on my elbow and put in the foot on the bicep. See, I need to put this elbow on the floor. Like this, okay? So now I can push the leg, um, the thigh right here, right there, where I'm right leg, and this one here, I'm gonna guide him this way, putting his shoulder on the mat, okay? Like this, okay? And the leg that I'll shoot over, of course, is this one. This leg here that was behind me, I can even try to stand up, he's coming back, and then I shoot back like this. Okay, I use like as a pendulum, so I got a triangle, okay? And then you just wait, be patient here, okay? It's a very good position. If you pull the head down, it's harder for you to stand up, okay? All right, let's go back and forth, three, three, okay? Let's go one, two, three.